Hello everyone, this is Ice Free Boyan, and in this video I would like to show you how to develop a completion contributor for um, defines in HXML, HXML uh, format. So let's start real quick, let's go to the plugin HXML, which is a descriptor, uh, so let's just copy the same line and uh, implement uh, completion contributor for defines which basically uh, when we type uh, d uh, dash d and uh, hit space and uh, type something which will show us uh, completion from hex compiler about uh, supported uh, defines so it's uh, really handy uh, sometimes so let's uh, create an implementation for it so first of all before doing something like this we need to uh, look at the PCI structure of the code because we need to understand on which element we would like to trigger uh, this completion uh, so you can see PCI viewer installed plugin on the right side of the screen and on the left side of the screen I type uh, D and uh, it uh, gets selected in the PCI viewer it's a define element implementation as you can see and uh, it gets highlighted highlighted so you can see uh, different parts of this item uh, gets highlighted so we need to uh, show completion only on uh, uh, hxml uh, values value yeah. uh, that's uh, pretty uh, common element for uh, almost uh, for this uh, hxml file type this is pretty common element uh, because every uh, every item has it every item has it but we need to filter it uh, to show it only for uh, hxml defines uh, so we need to check parent this um, complex pattern basically just uh, checks if um, element under caret is a token of value and it's a parent of um, uh, define if uh, this uh, element is a um, parent of define element PCI element uh, so and also we need to extend defines add additional variable which will store and cache available defines as you can see it's pretty similar to a meta text implementation basically we run hex compiler with a command line argument which is a help dash dash help dash defines which lists available defines and information about each defined so let's see how it works in a console yep it's returns data on available defines supported for um, current uh, hex compiler uh, for SDK uh, so we get the process output standard output stream and we wait uh, when this uh, process quits and uh, get all the all this text basically all this info with the uh, elements and uh, next step is to parse this uh, text which we have from a standard output a stream stream and we need uh, a regular uh, regular expression for it 
Uh, so meta attacks already have already has some pattern for it for it. Uh, and uh, let's make another one for defines and let's rename so uh, names uh, uh, should be better better names than uh, just pattern so let's look at the output again as you can see basically this is a text and this pattern basically will just uh, get all the all the chars uh, before before uh, uh, space before space space and other items so this is basically each string represents single define and uh, on this uh, string it uh, contains uh, define name and uh, define uh, description so for now uh, i would like to show you how to uh, get uh, the name from it so we basically iterate over uh, lines from output and uh, check if uh, line matches this uh, pattern for uh, defines so if it uh, does matches then we will need to get a uh, group a group matched group so also we will need to initialize our list and uh, add uh, group data we specify group number first one uh, basically it is uh, exactly what we need if we type group zero or something like that or just group uh, i think zero group zero might return entire expression so it will return entire line or something like that so we need to get the group itself which is basically inside uh, parenthesis so i extended a class cache class helper uh, which basically stores this data uh, so we don't need to uh, get it every time because you know it's uh, pretty expensive to get uh, this uh, data all the time each time you hit it and uh, it doesn't uh, change usually much it might change only if you change SDK but that's not really often happens so for most projects it should work just fine so we simply iterate over defines which is basically a list of strings and uh, each uh, element contains define name and we can add a tail text which is basically uh, some info about uh, current item perhaps uh, this can be a description but uh, for now i would like to do it uh, simpler and uh, description we will uh, implement uh, later so right now it's uh, should be a little bit simpler so let's start it it should work just fine logic is right i think so we add each element to the completion and over here is a define element yep as you can see it works just fine you can see at least from hex compiler 
hex help defines. So let's check it again. So for example, it can be uh, something like SVF direct bleed. Direct bleed. So yeah, as you can see, uh, completion is suggested from hex compiler, which is good. Thanks for watching.